It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. I was contacted recently by Virgin Wines and Virgin Wines said to me, would you like to review our Christmas calendar? So I thought, why not? It's Christmas, let's do it. I'm quite excited by it actually, because we did one last year, a German uh, calendar. And it was wonderful, really, really wonderful. So we're back, it's that time of year again. Let's roll our sleeves up. It's freezing this morning in our conservatory bar type thing that we got going out here. So I'm looking forward to maybe a stout or something to warm me up. So beer number one, uh, you can pick this up on the Virgin Wines website. It's about 66, I believe, 66 pounds. You know what I'm like with my pricing. I might be out by a couple of quid, but I think it's about 60 odd quid, 66 quid. Let's get this out then and see what we get. Beer number one. Ooh, what's this? Now, judging by the thickness of this uh, cardboard box, they're all going to be 330 milliliter cans. There's no bottles. It's too narrow for bottles. It's too narrow for 440 milliliter cans. So looking at the box, it's all going to be 330 mil cans. Right, here we go. Oh, do you know, I was thinking, there was a slight fear, and the slight fear was that because I've reviewed 8,000 odd beers on YouTube, that all of these were going to be repeats, so I've got a couple of kind of stand-up, uh, not stand, like, like backup beers, just in case there's a, like a Brewdog Punk IPA or something like that, i got some backup beers, but I don't think that I've had this Beaver Town Bones Lager, 4.4% ABV. I'm a I quite like Beaver Town. They were they were bought out by Heineken. The beer changed a little bit, but it's it's improved a lot in the last year. I would say the Beaver Town beers have changed. They're a lot better than they were when Heineken first bought out Beaver Town. When they first bought them out, the beer went downhill so bad. But they they corrected their ways. I think they've decided to make the beers better again, which is I mean that that's great, isn't it? For 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 all for all people who are interested in craft beer, why would you want your your craft beer to taste like Heineken? Right here we go then. Now, I think I was going to get a lager, so we've actually got a Belgian beer glass for this, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. Um, if you ask for a Stella Artois, I'm pretty sure that the, the, the Stella Artois glass isn't too dissimilar to this. They're like chalices, and they? they go up and around and back out again. So it's not too dissimilar to a Stella Artois glass. We got a two to three finger white head uh, good levels of slow moving carbonation there's a little bit of sediment in there a little bit of sediment in this 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 lovely looking lager so an unfiltered lager then uh, straw colored let's get the aroma It's almost herbal, herbal, freshly mown lawn, freshly mowed grass aroma. A little bit of lemon. Peppery, spicy. It smells okay, actually. It smells okay. The first aroma, I was like, oh. I was wondering if there was a little bit of DMS in there. It's it's mowed lawn. It's close to DMS, but it's mowed lawn. I'll explain that later on, but first of all, I want to get into the beer. I want to taste the beer, see what it's like. Cheers, everybody.
I'm not sure. Oh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the aroma. I'm not 100% sure on the taste, you know. It's a bit, it tastes like bog standard lager, bog standard lager that, where they've added some hops, they've added some, it's a strange one this, this is, this is a real thinker of a beer, this is a real kind of like A real challenge this is because it's drinkable it's refreshing it's carbonated but it's got that I know the company's owned by Heineken but I can't help but think it's like base Heineken it's like some kind of base Heineken with, with hops, like peppery spiciness. There's a bit of lemon, there's a bit of orange peel in there. Oh, it's really quite tough to get that kind of Heineken thought out of my head because it does, it tastes like, like a bog standard San Miguel or a bog standard Heineken. Or a, dare I say it, like a bog standard Foster's, but with hops, but with a bit of lemon, bit of grapefruit. But the actual, what I mean by bog standard lager, it's, it, it almost kind of tastes like corn and maize and rice. Those, they're very clinical. When you brew with those, they're very clinical. If you have a pint of carling in... Gatwick Airport and you have a pint of carling in Scotland, generally you find that that pint of carling tastes exactly the same if you have it in Gatwick Airport or the Outer Hebrides in Scotland. That pint of carling is going to taste the same. That's because they use rice and maize and corn. Whenever you add boiled rice that tastes anything other than boiled rice, boiled rice is boiled rice. It's, an, it's a... You can have it in... A foreign land, you could have it here in the UK. Boiled rice is boiled rice. That's the reason why they use, these big companies, they use rice when they produce lagers is because they taste the same wherever you brew it in the world or wherever you taste it in the world. So it's a bit, it's a bit bland base lager with some hops thrown at it. 4.4% ABV. Let's do some digging on the back of the can then. Um, it's brewed and packaged at Beavertown Brewery in London. So it's, you know, it's, I know Heineken own the company, but well, this has been brewed at Heineken, uh, at uh, Beavertown. Maybe, maybe they've got the head brewed at Heineken down and they've gone, right, okay, this is how to brew this base, base lager. And then you can add whatever you want to it after that brewing pro. You can add, you can dry hop it or do what you want with it. But <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. It's not like I want to throw it down the sink. But at the same time, I won't remember this in six months' time. If you ask me to remember Beaver Town's lager, I might go, uh, I think. I thought it was okay. It's not a memorable beer. So, Beaver Town Bones Lager, 4.4% ABV. You can pick it up in the Virgin Wines selection box. Um, I'm going to rate it. I am going to rate it. And I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. 
give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.